the Joe Rogan experience. There's going to be a comedy club that says, fuck it. Let's get opening. Who Someone's going to do, do it. Somebody's going to do it. You just get to make people sign waivers. Say the the club's not responsible if you get sick. You now, think is that irresponsible to do? Is that irresponsible to do? I don't know. Is it, it? Look, tell people to get tested. Tell them to get tested when it's available. When testing's readily available and treatments readily available, I think only then are we going to relax. Yeah, I said it. Yep, it's the truth. It's then like the, then the question is like, what do you? How do you tell people that you don't have it? Like if you go to a bar, are they gonna? Are you gonna submit to having an app? That's probably, I've heard that there may be some type, I heard in Wuhan or whatever, they have some type of system where it is an app where I guess you register and you could scan and see. I know that has to be in development. Dude. I was just talking to somebody about it. I don't know exactly what it is, but I think that that technology exists. Do you follow Willie D from the Ghetto Boys? Yeah. Why, go to his Instagram and he's got a post where there's a company that's sticking a microchip in these people's arms. They hired a fucking professional tattooist and piercer, a professional piercer guy. What, could, what has to come what, in before you to get it what in? What the fuck? Imagine if your company tells you, I know, I know you don't want to bring keys. You know, if I bring your keys everywhere, I'm just going to give you a little microchip. I'm going to make sure you're showing up at work on time. You don't have to punch in anymore. You're all set. You, you lit, they're literally People like, are going to go for right? it. They're going for it in this video. 100%. Everybody's laughing and joking around about it. That is real, right? We didn't get hoaxed. Did we get hoaxed? Because it was a, it's a news story. If it's not real, I can't believe story. it. I don't know about it on his page, but I know I know exactly what you're talking about. So I'm gonna go. To I watched it and was like, but "What Joe, in if the you fuck think about it, are they the, thinking?" It's, on it's the website. same. There it's, it is. This company embeds microchips in its employees, and they love it. Mm. <laughs> it went, Look at the title yeah. of that. And Fifty I'm, employees at Times Square you know Market what? got RFID because chips in their hands. Those are probably people that know that anything, they probably know that anything that the government wants to find out about you, they can find it out whenever they want. Look at this. When Patrick McMullen wants a diet Dr. Pepper while he's at work, he pays for you. it with a wave of his hand. Oh, we'll definitely don't mm. carry credit cards anymore. That's too hard to do. There's just a... do, just let him put a microchip in you and pay it with a wave of your hand. I think uh, LaGuardia, one of the airports in New York has got the experimental thing going where they have in one of the terminals a place where you can go shop. You just swipe your credit card when you walk in and you just leave with whatever you got and they charge you. Oh, like wow. like those Amazon stores. It's the same technology. I guess Amazon's licensing it out. Well, that makes sense. It's still a credit card, though. But like, it's not a chip. The Amazon this store, is... you don't wave your card. I think you just have your phone with you, kind of. And it just like knows that you have As that. long as you can leave it at home. This you can't leave at home. This is what's so crazy yeah, about this. Step. How hard is it, you lazy bitch? You can't pull your fucking credit card out. You you willing to let them put a microchip in there so you can get a diet Dr Pepper you can loan with a somebody, hand move? You can loan somebody money with a DAP. At his office, he's one of dozens of employees who've been doing likewise for a year now. That's very funny. Imagine that's how you give each other money. <laughs> yeah, like that. Uh -huh. Slap a cash app, slap app. <laughs> you can't touch now because of Corona. So what are you gonna no, do? but I mean, my, oh yeah, that's, <laughs> right. like, that's why. Oh, I couldn't pay Bluetooth. you, bro. Social distancing. McMullen is the president of Three Square Market, a technology company that provides self-service mini markets to hospitals, hotels, and company break rooms. Last August, he became one of roughly 50 employees at its headquarters in River Falls, mm -hmm. Wisconsin, who had volunteered to have a chip injected into their hand. Fucking yikes. What I saw was a dude was getting it in his forearm. I was, it must be a different company. So this is what's scary. Is this going to be the new norm? Like, what if you get fired by these people and you get hired by Amazon? Do you have to put in one of their chips? Do you have to take out your old chip? Do they sell the chip to the company? Are, are we being my guess would be, when you leave, <laughs> give me my chip back. Oh, my God. They cut you but, open. But that doesn't... That, does not surprise me in the least. It doesn't surprise me, but it alarms me. It alarms me that people are so interested in having someone put a chip in their body. But we, but a company that tells you you have to do it, if the company tells you you have to do that, fuck that company. But I know it, but those are people that f feel that they, f need, they need to feel the need of being a part of new technology. I want it. If that's the hot shit, motherfucker's gonna have it. This was 2014, says microchips will be implanted into healthy people. Sooner than you think. It's going to happen. Yeah, it's going to happen. 
I mean, they they called it. It's going to happen for 2014. It's going to happen for people like I say. Look, think about it, Joe. Somebody with Alzheimer's. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They're going to find a smart reason. If somebody is um abducted, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? It's like, it's weird to think about it, but then if you really think about it, it's it's going to be weird, but it's still not, there's going to be plenty of reasons why it makes say, sense. Tell me where your chip is. And uh, people don't want to tell, so they cut your hand off. This article, I don't like it. Right here, the uh, <laughs> talks about this guy getting a oh, computer Jesus virus Christ. implanted Look at this. in his chip. A year later, Gasson infected his own implant with a computer virus, one that could pass on to other computer systems if the building's networks were programmed to read his chip. As Gasson uh, breezed around the workplace, spreading the virus and corrupting computer systems, certain areas of the building became inaccessible to his colleagues. Jesus that's a, Christ. That's, that's how the, that's how war is going to be for yes. Joe. Yes. Yo, motherfucker don't give a fuck if you can fight it. War is like this. Who can hack this shit? That's where the wars, the, it's not going to be the physical shit. It's going to be like, you got one motherfucker in the room yeah. that could crash some shit like that. Do you know what that fucking do to everybody? <laughs>